The Kremlin has denied a US media report that Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump had spoken about the Ukraine conflict. The Washington Post, citing unidentified sources, reported Sunday. The US president-elect had urged the Russian president not to escalate the war in Ukraine. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told journalists that the report was simply false information, denying any phone call took place. The Post, citing several people familiar with the call who spoke on the basis of anonymity, reported that Mr. Trump had reminded Mr. Putin of the sizable US military presence in Europe. They said Mr. Trump also expressed an interest in further conversations to discuss the resolution of Ukraine's war soon. But in an unusual move, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said on Monday, no such call had taken place. Peskov added that there were no concrete plans in place for the two to speak. Trump also spoke with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky the day after the US election. Yesterday I spoke with President Trump. Ukraine's foreign ministry said it was not informed in advance of the call between Trump and Putin and therefore could neither endorse or object to it. America has given us an unprecedented and powerful mandate. Trump will take office in January after winning the presidential election. His call with Putin comes as President Joe Biden plans to urge Trump not to abandon Kyiv. Biden told reporters he will meet with Trump on Wednesday, November 13th, at the White House. US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said on Sunday that Biden's top message will be his commitment to ensure a peaceful transfer of power. He will also talk to Trump about what's happening in Europe, in Asia, and the Middle East. But this invasion of Ukraine would never have happened if I was in the White House, not even a chance would have He also said, Before I even arrive at the Oval Office, I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. And it will take me no longer than one day. He told Reuters that Ukraine may have to surrender territory to reach a peace agreement something the Ukrainians reject and Biden has never suggested.